Oh, there's a story of John Henry. So I've got part one and part three. I have to go find part two, I guess. A tough, lair-skinned man in his early 40s, his angular face is framed by wild sideburns, as tattoos of a real, real spike on both firearms. His war paint makes it look like he's covered in soot. I really ain't in the mood to swap words with you, Rangers. My daughter Jessie should have been home by now. She's been sneaking off with that damn Topekan boy, and I just know he did something stupid and got her captured. I, really? We've been fending for ourselves so long I forgot what a kind word sounded like. Do you mean it? Just name your price. I, I, I don't know. I, all right, you win. This war has done nothing but kill children on both sides. I don't know why I couldn't see it until my own daughter was threatened, but, well, go tell Kekiba that if he gives me back my daughter, I'm done killing and ready to bargain. Of course I've got gunpowder. We use it to blow up rocks when we're laying track. Where you'll never find it. Why would you think that had anything to do with me? There's plenty of coffee cans lying around in the world. Don't remember his name. Him and Jesse were friends before that thief Kekaba kicked us out of the Topekan camp. I told Jesse she'd have to make friends with the Atchison kids now, but she's stubborn, like her dad. Um. Well, might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. Well, okay. So if I find his daughter, I can get peace. Where the heck is his daughter, I wonder? Here's Melissa. Don't take too much time, Rangers. My gun this is, is why Jesse comes to see me in the Topekan camp. There's nothing here. Cool. Well, where the heck is Jesse? The real feeds don't have her, obviously, because I kill all of them. find Jesse. Maybe can't give now. Continue our righteous war with those damned Adjacents unbothered. A small token of gratitude is yours. And why would I do that? If I can't use her life as leverage to convince Casey James to surrender, then she will make an excellent example when she is swinging from our front gate. I prefer to save the Act of Mercy until after negotiations are concluded. 
Go to James and tell him I'll release her once we've made peace, but not before. Why have you returned? So I could bust her out, but I assume that's gonna be bad. Gee, I usually only get to go in here on important occasions. Come on, you've gotta help me. Well, let's save Jesse. Congratulations. Bill's managed to get a level there. Just noticed now. Oh, that's right. Scotiamon has a tribute point now. Alright, so. Might be wise to get him more awareness so he can basically get more combat initiative. So it might also make sense to get him more, more um, speed. That also gives him combat initiative. intelligence for you. Alright, well, skills. I guess I should begin computer science up for at some point. So, I guess we'll go back to Casey and see if he'll agree to be, you know, go for exchange. I assume there's multiple ways of getting Frutus, but whatever. So that's something to note there. Basically, the kiss ass and smart ass um, options there to basically, you know, get Jesse freed. So now I assume I'm going to be doing, going a lot back and forth here. Back and forth, back and forth until the feud's done. Or I kill them both. Oops, there's something down here. I just noticed for the first time. Here's a question, what happens if he opens it from down there and these guys are up here, can I still transfer stuff? <laughs> Apparently yes I can. So this way, that way, this way, that way. Do you smell coffee? What are you doing back here? Go get my daughter away from that monster Kekava. He holds my daughter for ransom and he wants to make peace? No, I will not bargain with kidnappers. It wouldn't be me killing her. It would be Kekava. And I would avenge her just as he avenged his daughter when I... Oh, great John Henry. How did I not see it before? If Jesse died because of... Because I wouldn't... All right, all right. Go tell Kekaba I'm done killing. I'm ready to bargain. 
Have him meet us at the broken rails and we'll hash this out. We'll bring the brake shoe and fix the rails in exchange for the spike and half the profits from the rail trade. But the spike must return to us. That is not negotiable. We can't both have it. You're right. If we could trust each other to stop at the same time, we could have peace. But I can't trust Kekaba as far as I can spit. I mean, just look at the spike. It don't mean nothing to them, and he still won't give it back. We both want it too bad. Except my reasons are good, and his ain't. Are you saying we should use the golden spike to repair the rails? Make it the final act that gets our train going again? Like some kind of symbolism? Ha! <laughs> I like it. Particularly since it'll be in our rails, and not in their station house. Okay, Rangers. If you can get Kekaba to agree to that, along with the rest of it, then we have a deal. Where you'll never find it. Of course I've got gunpowder. We use it to blow up rocks. Might not be polite, but the sooner you're gone, the better. I can't say this, this is, you know, really well organized, this quest line. Copy, Echo. Yeah, congratulations. It's really not well organized at all. Alright, you got a tribute point. Um... Wow, I get more strength. And then I'll go wait until I can boost this up a little bit more, I think it is. Yeah, kiss that skill. I'll get, I guess, you know, eight more points so I can get this all up. At least you got a perk. Hit the deck, order. What do I want to get him, I wonder? So here's a question, if I press healthy now, is he going to get um, like, 20 con. And go to, uh, like, 259. Yes, it does. Alright, so that's worth knowing. This healthy is actually, you know, something at higher levels you get, like, you know, a little more con if we're, like, out of trouble. So it builds up over time. A lot. So back, forth, back, forth. Literally, it's all back and forth, back and forth. I'm almost, almost tempted to cut this out, but you know, this is a part of the game and I don't like to cut out stuff unless it's really, really getting repetitive. That's the way I am with my Let's Plays. Basically, if you're coming to walk my last place, you're getting the full deal. It goes back, it goes forth. It goes back, it goes forth. Oh, talk to him again. Why have you returned? 
Did I not tell you to stay out of our affairs? Well, what's done is done. What exactly are his terms? He will fix the rails in return for a brick shoe in exchange for half the, pe um, half the profits from a rail trade, and wants to use the golden spike to repair the rails and seal the deal. You mean, use the golden spike as a final symbolic act that gets our train going again? I... I... Damn it, yes. That is a John Henry solution if I ever heard one. But the rest of it... He hasn't conceded a thing. He gets everything he wants, and I still have one arm and can't drive my train. Give me one good reason why I should change my mind when he has not changed his. I want an end to this war as badly as Casey James does, but it seems all the sacrifice is on our side. I am not prepared to make peace unless he gives up something, too. It is true. Ending our feud with the Atchisons would allow us to trade again. But why should those murderers share in the profits after all they've done? You think reminding me of the wreck the Atchisons caused, the wreck that cost me my arm, will make me change my mind? I should kill you for this insult. I... But... But no, you are right. We Topekans have learned a sad truth in this war. We cannot ride the rails alone. We need the Atchisons just as they need us. But the debt in blood. I don't see how Casey James can ever spill enough to repay it. I'm afraid I... Huh? No, wait. I know what to do. All right, Rangers. Go to Casey at the entrance to the Atchison camp, and tell him this. If, in addition to returning the brake shoe and repairing the rails, he is willing to lose his left arm, then I am willing to give the Atchisons half our profits and welcome them back into our camp. But the Golden Spike stays with us. That is not negotiable. We can't both have it. I'll be there shortly with the Golden Spike, ready to deal. But if this is some kind of trick, I'll pound that spike through his heart. Choppers, bring me the Golden Spike. Go, Rangers, and may you speak with silver tongues. Okay, I go talk to Casey now. And yeah, I have to say, the quest line, it could be a little bit more, you know, um, how can I put this? This is one of the things about this game. Everything, like, you know, you can, like, go with dialogue options in this way and that way. This one's not really well connected because of how, like, the game works. The options don't play out, you know, in a very, uh, really good, good fashion, fashion release, you'd say, the least. Here's a question. How would a hard ass get through here? I guess I probably have to kill one of the sides to basically get it done. All right, we're here. What does Kegaba have to say for himself? Kegaba agreed to your terms and to use Golden Spike to repair your rails, but only if you're willing to lose your left arm. Lose my left arm? Is he insane? I. No, I, I'll do it. After all that I've done, what's the loss of an arm? I deserve worse than that. Tell him we have a deal. Do we have a deal? Good. Then let us finish it. Ready to drive in the spark? Your arm first. For the good of both our tribes, I... I'm ready. As a son of renewed brotherhood, here's the brick shoe. Now the spack. For the good of both our tribes. A 
give my people the good news. I'm glad it's over. So am I. Let's get to work. Hello guys, Iron Fighter 2. Echo One. Echo One, congratulations, Echo One. Hooray for leveling. This is Chief Kekaba with good news. Thanks to the Desert Rangers, the feud between the Topekans and the Atchisons is over at last. Finally, we can begin to work together again, and we'll soon have the rails repaired and the trains running. The rail nomads will rise again. Hooray! Okay, he's got perk here. What type of uh, stuff I'm going for, I wonder. Let's go for Weddard. So by the way, I know something here, by the way. He's got a 3% chance of going rogue. So, note that he doesn't go rogue too often, this guy. That's the nice thing about Ralphie. Despite him, you know, being sort of lackluster in a lot of other areas. There's Jesse. Hey Rangers, Kekaba said you worked it out. We've got peace and I'm free. Thanks. I'm gonna head home and see my dad. Hooray. Well, let's go over this way. We'll talk to this guy. I used to be in this place all the time. Then I met Jesse. I can't believe the Desert Rangers will help me add to my hardware collection. A CDI, oh boy. Wow, is that what I think it is? I can't believe you found one. Here, have a bunch of quarters. You've got free games on my machines for the rest of your life. Come again, anytime. Well, help that guy. It's just a quick quest for him. So I'm not sure exactly what happens at this point. I guess we're done all the quest stuff that I have to do here in uh, the Real Nomads, perhaps? Maybe. And look at that, I can get through up here now. So this opens up once you basically free stuff, I guess, for obvious reasons. No golden spike, no reason to keep them closed. Or this guy cares when I'm back here. Guess not. Empty display case. I only wish you had convinced us to make peace long ago, Rangers. 
The strides we Topekans and Atchisons are making now that we are working together again. It makes me weep for all those wasted years. Thank you again. Now, anything we can help you with? Ah, the Peacemakers return. Welcome. Hooray, I'm a Peacemaker. I'm looking for a John Henry book somewhere, but can't find part two. I'll have to look at the wiki, I guess, to find that. Ooh, stuff to loot. Ray, stuff. This one's bombed, apparently. Probably gonna be brute forcing this one open. I can see it now. Get that one for critical failure chance, whatever. Oh, there we go. Some more loot. Makes me wonder if there's anything else I'm missing. Yes, there is. All this lovely stuff can loot in here. Loot, loot, loot. Look at that, he managed to get himself a level from all his work. It does add up over time all the experience you get for these guys. Copy it. Congratulations, Ed. And I have no idea what I'm getting for this guy for skills, but whatever. Um Get that, I guess. Let's see if I can open this up. Yeah, I'm getting to a point where I don't care if I fail or open this stuff anymore. There's a pickaxe. It's really at the point where, you know, if I fail, I, you know, I fail. It's not going to kill me. You know, I wonder what the engineer guy says over here. Maybe we'll go talk to him. Yeah, silver tongue, that's what I've got.
Well, he doesn't say anything for him, I guess. Alright, now this is where I'll basically do a quick trip all the way back to, uh... Their camp, I guess. And the plan will be more or less, I'm going to basically talk to the, you know, guys over there, perhaps. We'll see if there's anything important to say. Apparently this wasn't open, whatever. One of the doors got opened. I'll probably check the wiki to see where I can find a second book, what the process is all about. And probably also check to see if, um... Is there anything else important to note? I wonder what uh, I need for Kiss Ass or, or Smart Ass to be able to get that dialogue options going there for, you know, saving these guys from themselves. Melissa says anything now. They let me cut my husband down. I have buried him at last. Thank you, Rangers. Yes, everyone loves the Rangers. These guys still starving? Also, this guy over here I can deal with too. The Rangers, my heroes. Wow, you guys are badass. You saved Ralphie and ended this stupid feud. You're the best. Rangers, good to see you. It kills me we were so blind about how to make peace. And I thank you again for all you did to make it happen. Everything is so much better now, and us and the Topekans should have the train up and running again in no time. It kills me we were so blind about how all to right. make peace, and I thank you again for all you did to make it so happen. So he says all that stuff. Everything is so much better now, and us and the Topekans should have the, the train Rangers, up and running again in no heroes. time. Now we'll go in here and talk to this guy. Or not, I guess he's gone. Or what this guy over here is going to be. If he's still a shopkeeper or not. Have a great day, Rangers. Guess we'll be working on a railway soon. Thank you. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing actually in the camp to really to deal with. So, at this point, I'm going to have to go, I guess, find uh, where Book 2 is on the wiki, I guess.
But I think it's a job well done. Kind of easy to do a real nomad, so that's fine. That's okay. 